Hey guys, welcome back to our Bass Bros video. Today, we are taking a look at the Pelican 100X kayak. And we're going to go over all the basics to kayaking, everything we use. So yeah, let's get right into it. Let's start off with the dry bag. Now this dry bag came with the backpack, no, excuse me, the kayak. As you can see, it's with the Pelican symbol there. Uh, storage compartments up front here now I did a review on the cast King dry bag and we don't use these at all because they're not waterproof and to prove they're not waterproof we actually threw them in the water and they got water inside in here so they're not waterproof they say they're don't quote me but they say they're weather weatherproof you know, and it's not they don't they can't stained water that's what the whole big storage looks like they have plenty of storage in them I just recommend you buy the cast king drive bag I'll put the link in the description for that so yeah if you don't take a drive bag at all that's how much room you have and make sure you, and these straps are nice to hold all your stuff down your life jacket your uh usually we don't usually we put our our dry bag in then we put our life jacket on top and we put our magnet uh, fishing stuff there and our fishing pole right here in these holders comes with them I'll show you guys how to adjust your seat here very comfortable pack very soft seat all right that's how you adjust your seat now when you get your kayak and you got your first time you adjust it as you go same thing with your paddle there's three different settings for that but we'll go over that in just a second so yeah here that loosens it. You just pull on that and that tightens it. Now my seat is perfectly set for me. And it works. Like I said before, the seat, you always want to kind of see how much gap I have back there. You always want to kind of keep yourself upright in your kayak because it gives you more force when you paddle. Alright, now let's go over the paddle. Alright. Three different settings in this. I keep mine in the straight position. Always when both paddles are facing straight from each other like one's going this way one's going straight that way now you can put it in this position I get the pin pushed in you can have one going that way like that one going straight and the other one turning and then you just push it back over here you could have it in this position where both one of them facing down and the other one's facing straight halfway straight quartering but I usually keep it in the straight position, always. It's better for me. Oops. All right, there we go, back straight position. All right, for starters, you're gonna wanna have these. Because first time we went out, oh, we had blisters all right in here in our hands. And it was absolutely miserable. These are Yak Grips. I'm gonna put linked, there's a link in the description from Amazon on these. I believe they're like $12 for two of them. So they are a little expensive, but trust me, they're worth it. They're super soft, they don't hurt your hands at all. And they're really nice. All right, so let's go over the, there's certain settings you can have your feet in. Now me, I'm 5'8", so I usually use the third setting in the feet. I don't know if you guys can see that, see? One, two, three, four, four settings for feet. Down inside there, I'll move out so you can see it. Yeah, I usually keep my feet, try to keep my feet in this setting right here, third setting. If you're probably, if you're six foot, you're probably gonna want to put, put your foot in the last hole because that that's the most biggest one. Uh, so yeah, let's go to the front. More storage up here. We use all the storage when you need to go out. We usually put our sunscreen and uh, other accessories you take with us. And uh, it has a nice handle in front and back. See, when you're carrying it from your trailer or your car, whatever you haul them in. Just like that, yeah, handles on them. All right, this is very important, so I want you guys to pay attention. The drain plug, this is the drain plug. These, just in case you get water or a wave came up and splashed into your kayak and got water down in the hole on the inside there. This is how you take it. Take it off. Flip it up like this. Twist it. And take your finger like this. 
and wiggle it. They're very stiff, but once you get them out, they're out. All right, so now that it's out, we'll walk you guys through how to get the water out of your kayak. There's any of it. So you're gonna walk to the front of the kayak, you're gonna grab the handle with one hand, the other hand, just start lifting up the kayak, and walk right down the main Z of the kayak. Just stand it just like this, and then you pour it down as you can. Once you hit no here, no more water in the kayak, Need it all the way back down, like that. That's it. I'll show you guys how to put the beam book back in. Alright, just push it like this. Test it. Just pull it up. That's it. Simple. Alright, now this is going to get a little confusing here, so hopefully I'll get it all right in one try. Now I'm 5'8 now. The size matters with your, your height matters with your paddle. So, my paddle is seven foot six. So, it goes by your height. Like, if you're, let's just say you're four six, your paddle's probably gonna be like six four. So, it's always a little taller than you are. All right? Now, I think on the, where we bought these was Dick's. So, I think they have a, on their website, you can put in your height and it pulls up your paddle for you. Now these are field and stream paddles, so you can see. Really nice paddles. Powered up well, you can see they have some scratches on them. But they've held up great. Using them for two years now. Yeah, that's about it for the kayak. Like I said, I'll put everything in the description. Uh, into the kayak and everything. So to go over some minor details. The kayak costs $400. It can hold up to 300 pounds. These are, the, the paddles are made out of aluminum. Some, some aluminum, not all of it. Some of it's carbon fiber, like made out of fishing pole and stuff. They're, uh, the paddle, now, oh, deeper. The paddle itself, this is, you're gonna be, it's not too bad of a price, $50. I have my paper here to remember. Everything I'm supposed to say. So yeah, everything's really nice with these kayaks. No complaints here. My only thing I would change about it is maybe make the maybe make this a little bigger down here. Maybe your cockpit down here a little bigger because it's tight fishing sometimes in certain when you cast in certain angles. Maybe my only thing I would change about this, other than that, everything I wouldn't change a thing. Like I said, it's great. By the way, this is to hold your cell phone here. That works good. Problem is though, you can't leave your cell phone out for that long because it overheats with the sun. So yeah, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching and keep fishing. Like and subscribe.